right? But but the Lord dropped a scripture in my mind um this week, you know, and 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 it or rather last week, withhold not good when it is in your power to do so. Don't stop doing good and don't allow yourself to get angry. No, no, what is the root cause of anger? Anger comes about because of unresolved issues. There, there are some things that you have not resolved in your own personal life. You have not gotten over the fact that your husband walked out. Wow. You have not gotten over the fact, right, that your, 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 your spouse is not paying child support. And so you take it out on the child. Some parents that are angry at the children is simply because the child reminds them of the partner that walked out of the relationship. And so they, they begin now to get angry at the child because the child constantly reminds them of what they want to forget. Come on now. Angry. So unresolved issues. Listen, my man of God, it's better we talk the things out, you know, and we shout at each other and settle the matter. Yes. Because, because sometimes there are people that are angry at you and you don't even know that they are. Jesus. You have no clue, man of no. God, that they're angry at you. you. You just notice the silent treatment. Th they don't call. And if you try talking with them, you begin automatically to recognize that they are not too into you or your conversation. Angry people people try to devalue other persons you see there's a level of anger sometimes people are angry because you got the position and they didn't come on angry because look look look, look at saul saul got angry because he heard the crowds shouting saul has slain his thousands and david is ten thousand sometimes jealousy can lead to you becoming angry and wanting to hurt and to maim. You see, at the root of criticism is anger. Anytime, listen, and you have to avoid the, uh, avoid individuals that are always critical of anybody that you see that is always critical of everybody else. There is a root cause. There's a root problem that is causing this. And, and sometimes people get angry because they have unhealed hurts. Mm -hmm. You are raped by a family member. Lord Jesus, I didn't even want to go down this line. You are oh. raped by a family member. And so you're angry. And, and your parents cannot understand how this calm child all of a sudden has taken on this character. And so parents need to study their children, both your boy children and your girl children. Because yes. if you see them becoming overtly angry and aggressive, there is something at the root. Why is it that my child gets angry every time you, you know, you're dropping them off at a particular relative? Use it as a signal. Something is wrong. You see, unresolved anger, man of God, can lead to bitterness. You become bitter. And, and hear me, if you're an angry person, leave people's children alone and don't try to get married. Angry people shouldn't get married. Because anytime you, you, you marry and you're an angry person, the marriage is going to be explosive Woo! because you have not dealt with you. You need to be whole in that area of your life. Come Sometimes on. anger comes in a man of God because of painful memories. Mm -hmm. Some of us have gone through some things that we could be angry at our mother and father for not having enough to provide for us. We could be angry because we met in an accident. There's so many things, painful memories that can cause us to keep holding on to anger. Sometimes mm -hmm. anger comes over because of unmet needs. You could become frustrated. And, and some of us on this very program are angry at God. Jesus. Because we have prayed, we have fasted, and we have not gotten what we have prayed and fasted about. Come on, we sir. have been looking and wondering. We, and, and we get angry at people who testify. How could God be treating them better than he's treating me us? Man of God, am I talking the truth this Come morning? On. I hope this is helping somebody. You know, because you've got to get over this thing called anger. Listen to me. Sometimes when you fail, you become angry at people that are successful. When you are poor, you are angry at the rich. <laughs> Mighty God. Listen to me, man. And sometimes we carry stories that are untrue. Come on. Because our anger leads to resentment. Where we feel that everybody who has anything is corrupt and is unspiritual. Sometimes we believe that nobody can succeed in life. 
right? If they are doing the right, you can be doing the right thing. We have, listen to me, man, man of God, we have too many angry people on, on morning devotion. And sometimes the anger comes out in how you hear them pray. It's like, that's why they storm heaven, you know, rather than partnering with God. They're storming heaven because they're mad. And sometimes you hear it and they're talking about warfare. No, 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 no. You're angry. Jesus. Anger mm. rated in the bosom of fools. Everybody that is easily angered, the Bible labels you as a fool. Which means you're stupid, you're ignorant. You're not walking correctly. Listen to me, no more speaking in tongues until you deal with that anger that is on the inside of you. Don't use the tongues to cover up and to mask the very thing that God is trying to extract from you. And listen to me, don't you turn me off this morning. Because God wants to deliver you. You see, every, people are looking for demons to scream out. No, 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 no. Sometimes there's that anger that you need to be delivered from. And some of us get angry if we're in a problematic situation for too long. And we become vexed with everybody. Do you know that there's some people in church that we call walking razor blades? You can't come anywhere near them because angry people hurt people. Lord, let me see if I can finish this this morning. My, my God, God Almighty. My man of God. Man of God. I don't know. God just woke me up with this. To call out some people on morning devotion. Because you're too angry. And as a result of that, you're getting bitter. You're carrying around that weight. And you're mistreating. And ab Listen, there's some people on morning devotion that are abusing their workers. Come on. Don't yeah. send one more offering to man in devotion until you correct that. Mm. Lord Jesus, I, I'm in trouble this morning. I'm in oh. trouble. The numbers must be dropping right now. I'm in trouble oh this morning. God. Listen to me. Sometimes we get angry because we keep competing with people that we never overtake. We are trying to be the best preacher around. We are getting the invitation, so we're angry. Why is it? Why is it? That evangelist Knox is getting so many engagements and I can preach better than him. My God. Sir Knox, there are people competing with you that you don't even know them. Jesus. People don't like you and you don't even know them. My God. Listen to me. Sometimes you get angry because of disappointments in life. Do you know why, why some women on this program aren't married yet? Because of anger. My God. They start, they see everybody like they saw the spouse that hurt them. Mm -hmm. And they tend, to, they tend to judge everybody based on that. Some of you have had good men come into your life and you run them because you're angry. Whoa. Because no man likes to come into a house to an angry woman. That's why the man steals out life, and come home late. My God. Because he prefers to come home when you're asleep because oh, you're too angry. My God. Mm -mm. But I don't know if you know what the scripture that says. It is better to live yes. in an upstairs room than in a big house with a cantankerous woman. Proverbs, man. For her speech is like the continuous dropping of rain. Wow. We used to have a phrase where we talk about nigga nigga in your ears. Listen me, man. You have got to look. Listen me. If your, um, your house should be a castle, a place of peace and not anger, you can't keep fighting battles in your house. Sometimes it's not demon, it's your personality, it's your temperament, it's who you have become. My God. And sometimes we tend to associate with the very people that, that they are promoting this kind of behavior and conduct. And so we don't get delivered from it. Look how many crusades you have gone and you're still angry. Look how many deliverance services you have been into and you're still angry. Look how much fraught you have fraught and how much things you have spat out on the ground, but you're still angry. Mm. Look how much prayer cloth you have stored up, but you're still angry. Look how much olive oil you drink, but your tongue can't be controlled. Man of God, I'm so done. They're not Whoa. liking me this morning. Jesus, you're teaching. Listen to me, listen to me, man. Listen to me, listen to me. Mm. Sometimes the root, 